When morning came, all the chief priests and elders of the people plotted against Jesus to put him to death. Oh, that's great. Yep. That's exactly. When they bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate. The Good job. Who, whose genius idea was this? I, I got it now. He had been condemned, was remorseful, and brought back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priest. Yeah, that's right. You better bring that money back. I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. No dirt. It's Jesus. Then he threw down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed. And went and yeah. hanged himself. Yeah. But the chief priest Bruh. took the silver pieces. What a tragic. It's not lawful like. to put them into the treasury because they are the price of blood. And they consulted together and bought with them the potter's field to bury strangers in. Therefore, that field has been called the field of blood to this day. To this day, right here. And was fulfilled to this day. Spoken by Jeremiah. We'll go the prophet. look that up on Google. And they took the 30 pieces of silver. The value of him who was priced, whom they of the children of Israel priced, and gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord directed me. Mm -hmm. Now Jesus stood before the governor. Like Are you the king of the Jews? It is as you say. No dare. And while he was being accused by the chief priest and elders, he answered them. These people, their brains, they don't How many not work in here. They testify against you? But he answered him not one word, so that the governor marveled greatly. Now at the feast, the governor was accustomed to releasing to the multitude one prisoner whom they wished. And at that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. That's safe. When they had gathered together, Pilate said to them, murderer to be with the people instead of an innocent man that's done nothing but speak the truth man just like common day Americans I mean right you know what this means guys most of Americans aren't atheists they're all Jews that's offensive Yeah, I don't want to die dirty hands. Why would I want to kill someone with dirty hands? I mean, come on. Then he released Barabbas to them. Oh, good job. Good job. Bro, chill out with that. Smack him one more time, I dare you. Bro. And gathered the whole garrison around him. And they stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. When they had twisted a crown of thorns, they put it on his head and a reed in his right hand. And they bowed the Sometimes it shocks me every time I hear it. Then they spat on him. And took the reeds. I'm gonna spit on you. That's right. When they had him, they Satan can spit on you in hell. That's spit fire in your face, huh? How about that? Now, as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene. Oh, you came out, huh? Oh, you all gay? They compelled to bear his cross. And when they had come to a place called. I still struggle with. With the people that killed Jesus, even though it's the right thing to do for God, but why? Why would you kill someone that's obviously not guilty? Then they crucified and divided his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. They 
darkness right there. And for my clothing, they cast lots. Sitting down, they kept watch over him there. And they put up over his head the accusation. See, what I don't get is how Jesus, the king of the Jews, they were expecting a Christ because it says in the Old Testament one on the right. It's a Christ, but apparently it's blasphemy to say, I'm the Christ back then. But they were expecting a Christ to come, so either way, they were setting themselves up. I was rudely interrupted. Let's continue. Even the robbers who were crucified with But they were setting themselves up for failure. They were setting themselves up to crucify the Christ. Why? There was darkness over all the land. Ain't that no shine right there. You kill the guy and it's freaking the apocalypse. I mean, come on. That is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And then he doesn't feel God. That's awful. He's the son of God and doesn't even feel his father. Immediately one of them ran and took a sponge, filled it with sour wine, and put it on a reed. And oh, I bet that was delicious. Let him alone. Good job. Let us see if Elijah will come. Good. To Just give him water. Just and give him Jesus water. cried out again with a loud voice. Oh. And yielded up his spirit. Intense. This is an intense chapter of Matthew, by the way. This is Matthew 27 that I'm reviewing in this video. Then so the city bursts into the flames or something? The veil of the temple yeah. was torn in two from top to bottom. Oh, yeah. And the earth quaked. States is what's going to happen with the Christ. The uh, were opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. It's actually kind of creepy. And appeared to many. So when the centurion, those with him who were guarding Jesus, saw the earthquake and the things that's that slightly happened, creepy right there. Let's let me the just repeat this verse right here. And the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. Is that into heaven? Is that what that is? I, I think that's what that means. So all the saints were raised to heaven, because that verse just sounds straight up creepy. Because it was, but it's not, it's not, it's not creepy. It's, I just need to speak that to review. And many women who followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him, were there, looking on from afar. Among whom were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Joses, and the mother of Zebedee's sons. Man, I wish I could wrap Jesus in cloth. Does that sound kind of weird? Whoops. And laid it in his new tomb, which he had hewn out of the rock. I want this to happen when I'm dead. I want to be wrapped in cloth and put in a tomb. I kind of want that. Be like Jesus. Be Jesus. Die like Jesus. Maybe I should die like Jesus. Is it bad to say I hope I'm crucified? On the next day, no, I'm joking. That's a joke. I don't want to be crucified. That, that would be awful. And to Jesus did that so I don't have to. Sir, we remember while he was still alive how that deceiver said after three days. <laughs> them Jews thought they got Jesus, but guess what? Jesus wanted that. Well, he didn't really want it, but he did it. Um, he could have just walked down, but you guys thought, ah, who's got the last laugh now? He's up there having a huge party with God. This video is so stupid. You have a guard. Go your way. Make it as secure as you know how. 
So they went and made the tomb secure, sealing the stone and setting the guard. Oh, wait, that's chapter 28. It's done. I just realized that. <laughs> yeah, and then that's the last chapter of that one right there. And then I'm done with Matthew, and then I'll read Mark. Maybe. Or I'll do something else. I don't know. I just thought of taking a video of me reading the Bible and explaining my feelings that come up in my head and how ridiculous those people back then were. Why would you crucify someone that only heals everyone and has done no sin? Why? What is wrong with you? Some people. And they're still as stupid today. Well, on the bright side, Jesus had the last laugh. And on that note, I'm going to end this video. Good night. <laughs>